Hello and Assalamu alaikum. Ultrascan Diagnostics say This is the CBCT of the patient that you had requested. The area of interest is 4748 and 3738, but we don't have a 37, we only have a 38. Um, so, taking you to the panoramic view, on the panoramic view, we can see that both the wisdom teeth are closely associated with the inferior alveolar nerve. And we've got the lower right second molar, which is closely associated with the wisdom tooth. And we have a missing lower left second molar. Now, on the transaxial view, the transaxial view is the proximal view, which is going to be something like this. So, the proximal view will show you, um, this is 3.7. As you can see, 3.7 has a filling restoration which is leaking it has secondary caries um, it is relatively far away from the inferior alveolar nerve um, we don't see any major pathologies associated with it as we are moving distally this is us moving distally so this here you can see that the wisdom tooth starts to appear the wisdom tooth is closely associated um, and the mesial um, cusps of the wisdom teeth are engaged um, with the uh, second molar so here you can see as you're moving distally this is the crown of the wisdom tooth um, and this is the pulp chamber the body and as you're moving towards the roots you can see that this orange dot is the inferior alveolar nerve and it is very extremely closely associated with um, the wisdom tooth now i'm going to turn the nerve uh, tracing off this part that you see here is basically the inferior alveolar canal this is being compressed by the uh, wisdom tooth and then it moves from the lingual aspect all the way up so this is where it gets a little uh, complicated this wisdom tooth is compressing the inferior alveolar nerve canal and this compression of the inferior, the inferior alveolar nerve canal should be rounded but as we are moving towards the ramus we can see that the wisdom tooth is compressing the canal it is kidney being shaped and then the canal gets compressed towards the lingual aspect and from the lingual aspect it then travels back up into the baby so there is a very high likelihood of damage to the inferior alveolar nerve um, during the extraction of this wisdom tooth now this is the axial section we're looking from top to bottom this is the right hand side the 4 7 and the 4 8 here you can see that the mesial cusp of the 4 8 are engaging into uh, the roots of the 4 7 um, and this is a problem because the mesial cusp is below um, the crowns of the um, 4 7 so during the extraction there's a very high likelihood that 4 7 uh, will hinder the extraction so this will need to be sectioned here you can see this is the nerve and this is where it gets compressed close to the apex. Here you can also see the compression right here. I'm going to turn the nerve tracing on but nonetheless if you can see this part is where the nerve gets compressed by the apex of the um, lower right wisdom tooth. Now this is the lower left wisdom tooth, the lower left wisdom tooth, the, the inferior alveolar nerve is below or inferior to the apex of the wisdom tooth as we are moving distally we can see that the, infer uh, the inferior alveolar nerve is not in um, any kind of compression, it is very close to the apex, it is um, there we go, it's very closely associated, we can turn the nerve tracing off, this is the inferior alveolar canal but you can clearly see as we are moving back into the damage, the inferior alveolar canal is not being compressed, the architecture is intact and hence the extraction of the lower left wisdom tooth should go uneventfully because it is not compressing the inferior alveolar nerve at any point. So if there are any further questions regarding this case, this is the uh, left hand side as you can clearly see, that these are the roots of so the inferior alveolar nerve. So the inferior alveolar nerve really does not push or um, cause any problems to the wisdom tooth or the wisdom tooth is not causing problems with the inferior alveolar nerve and hence the lower left is much more safer positioning than the lower right. Thank you very much.